Hi everyone, this is Daniel Park with another update for week 6. Uh, in this update I'm going to talk briefly about uh, the code that I worked on. Um, so last week I talked about how uh, I was able to um, call the image layer and have it uh, show an image when the user clicks on the button. Uh, like I said, uh, when you uh, create a texture and insert it into uh, this image layer, stored in the image layer, it'll assign you an ID number and that ID number gets saved in the button so now when you click on this button it'll call the image layer and the image layer will show uh, that particular slide that you requested uh, so what I worked on this week was getting the Cairo stuff to do the same uh, the reason why we need to do that is because uh, if we just save images of what the user drew, uh, they would have no way of changing it when they went back to that particular slide. So what we needed to do was store the Cairo uh, data on a different uh, dimension in its own list. So that's what's going on in this uh, function right here. Uh, so when the user presses a button, it'll pass uh, the button's ID not to just the image layer, but also to the Cairo layer as well. So the Cairo layer will also display the particular uh, uh, drawings that you did for that slide, as well as uh, what that slide looked like underneath. So here's a live demonstration of the actual UI with the new changes in implemented. So I'm going to select a blue marker and just draw some random stuff on the screen. Now if I were to save this uh, drawing, it'll store it into uh, a thumbnail, which, uh, so the idea is when you switch to a new slide, it'll clear everything that's currently on the slide and save it to uh, a thumbnail, which you can see right here. Now if I were to click this thumbnail, you can see that it'll repopulate the screen with uh, what I just clicked on. And I can erase what was drawn what was drawn before so you can see everything actually works pretty fine uh, in terms of uh, switching between Cairo and image data so that's it for this update